She was given 90 cents to go and buy some sugar. Kylie had been wearing a red turtleneck sweater and she was barefoot. And she entered the store around 5.30 p.m. But her mom, Julie, and the neighbors started to worry at about 5.40 p.m. when Kylie didn't come home. The two then went to the grocery store themselves that was on Plenty Road in Preston. But Kylie was nowhere to be found. At 7 o'clock p.m., the police search began, but they had no luck in finding her. And to everyone's heartbreak, Kylie was found the very next day at 12.45 p.m. right here. Her body had been disregarded in a gutter on Tyler Street. And for 33 years, Kylie's case went unsolved. She had been strangled or suffocated. She had been completely violated and sexually assaulted. And he, she had a depressant drug in her system. And after all of those years, 75-year-old Gregory Davies was finally jailed for life for Kylie's murder and assault. He was arrested in 2016 after he voluntarily gave up a DNA sample. And that DNA matched the DNA that was on the inside of Kylie's underwear. And he did plead guilty.